welcome. In this lecture, I wanted to introduce equivalence classes, um, which are kind of the collection of everything we're going to consider to be equivalent. Okay, um, so here we go. So here's our setup. So suppose that we have So we're going to have that S is a set. And then we're going to have the tilde is an equivalence relation on that set S is an equivalence relation on S. And we have that X is an element of S. Okay. Then, what are we going to say? So, definition. So, the equivalence class of X. So, the equivalence class. Of this X. It's going to be, so it's going to be defined to be a particular set. So it's going to be, first off, it has special notation. So it's denoted like this. So we put little brackets like that around X. Okay, so this is just some notation. Okay, but and it's going to be defined to equal the set of all elements S in, in S so that we have that uh, S is equivalent uh, to x uh, in whatever our equivalence relation is. So i.e. it's all the elements um, of s that are related to x. So i.e. all elements, they're all, I'm going to make this red because we're talking about elements of s. So all elements of S that are related to X, so related to related to this X, okay? Um, and then when I talk about, so this is the equivalence class of a particular element, the particular element being X. And then the, um, so then the next definition is that If I'm going to say the equivalence classes right, of this relation, what do I mean? I mean the, the subsets. Uh, like this, of S, so these are subsets of S, right, as, so as this X ranges over all the elements of S. Okay. Um, so you're going to take, uh, for, for each element of S, you're going to get one of these equivalence classes. And some of these are going to be duplicates. Um, but you're just going to look at what all these equivalence classes are. Um, and so then what is kind of like a key takeaway or um, a, an important way to view this? So important way to view. I'm trying to break that very, very sloppily. So important way to view. I usually like to write this capital, I, and I'm going to do this. So some people view equivalence classes. Um, some people think of all elements in equivalence class, is what I meant to say. Some people think of all elements in, equivalent, in an equivalence class. So some people did it. 
uh, think of all elements in an equivalence class in an equivalence Class is equal. Okay, so it's kind of a way of saying. Um, so you might think of all the integer. All the integers are equal in the sense of being congruent mod two. Or sorry, all the even integers are equivalent in the sense of being congruent mod two. All the odd integers are equivalent in the sense of being congruent mod two. Um, and for, in some contexts, that means you actually want to consider them to be the same thing. Okay, um, and we'll get into a lot of more examples of this. Um, oh, I, I want to write two observations before we finish with this. So observations, I wanted to write something really big and I got so excited about that. I forgot that I also, there's two very useful observations that you're going to want. So I'm just going to include these now. Um, so one of them is that X is always in its own equivalence class. Okay. So this is going to work for every element of your set. Whatever your set is, everything's always equivalent to itself. Um, and then we also, we needed, we needed our relation to be an equivalence relation. Um, we needed this to be an equivalence relation. I can, I can do this, I can write this. Um, to be an equivalence relation. Okay, it's not just enough that it's a relation, it actually needs to be an equivalence relation. Okay, so this is kind of just the, the first bit of what's an equivalence class. It's everything that's related to each other. You kind of stick those together, it's like a family. Um, and then in the um, next, um, the next lecture, I'll give you some examples. Uh, and then, you know, this is something that it's gonna take a little while to get used to, because for most students, it takes a while to get used to this. Um, but, I will. I hope this, you know, as a start makes a little bit of sense, probably till you play with it, it won't make a lot of sense. Um, but I will see you in the next, play with it, and then I'll see you in the next lecture.